If you find when you're doing the rear window, you're getting dry patches like this, um, this is because you have pushed air into sections that are already dried out. And this can happen a lot when you push up on the heat lines. Um, a lot of the time this can dry in. Um, so you can see when it starts looking a little bit cloudy like this, it will dry. But when you can actually easily see clear white patches of bubbles and air, so when it's very, very clear, not when it's faint like this, but when you can very clearly see this, it's not gonna dry in. And what you need to do is pull the film back, spray some water and push it back out. Again, this can happen when you're pushing up the heat lines because if you think about it, you're pushing air off the heat lines into the dried out section of the film. And it can also happen when you let the film dry for too long or you're tinting in hot weathers and then you try to push the film when it's starting to dry. Now you need to be very careful with this. Um, with my rear windows, once I get them on, I like to get everything pushed out, check the whole thing and make sure I'm happy before we do the other windows because if you think you can do the other windows and come back to it, by the time you come back to it, it's gonna be completely dry and you're gonna have these problems, these dry patches. Again, you know, if it does happen and it is really bad, um, you can see visible white bubbles and blisters all over it. Just peel the film back, spray it again with water, just the section which dry, and then push it back on and push it out as normal and it should go.